Hi, and welcome to Odyssey of Ascension. It's Roxanne. Once again, thank you all for tuning in. A couple little announcements. We have construction going on around us, so pardon the little bumps and thumps. You might hear uh, some of those. And uh, the next thing is on the website, if you look under uh, the link below, odysseyofascension.com, uh, we started a new uh, teaching idea. And it's not just for the specifics of self-realization um, that most of the private teachings uh, handle, but more so into the idea of specific skill set you want to hone your craft on. So we're channeling particular entities for that, uh, uh, those ideas. You know, if you uh, want to understand architecture, we'll channel Frank Lloyd Wright, you know, things like that. So if you're interested in that, go check out the website, and it's under uh, Channel Courses, I think it's what it's called, uh, Private Teachings Channel Courses. Um, private teachings and, and then that there'll be channel courses. Click on that, read about it, something you might be interested in. And as always, thank you all for tuning in. So let's get today's idea. Here we got. <clears throat> and greetings to you all. We would offer vibration. Hmm? You are in pursuit of understanding yourself. You exist in vibration. You have seen this idea of conduits, teachings. You understand from the other messages around your universe that the idea of vibration is creation. It most certainly is. The idea of approach, relationship, deployment, experience, translation of life, which is all birthed from vibration in a physical realm. So you're understanding your, let's say, idea of yourself as that. When you are a vibration, you contain yourself of separation by the attributes that are measured of your vibration. Anger, untrust, demise, sorrow, pity. These are sustaining your frequency of continuation. You understand this. You also understand there's a good side. Mm -hmm. But most people are looking to change themselves from no longer preferring the measured side of reality. As soon as the scales tip over in your balanced world you play with to the negative side, that's what you want to change. That's when you want to take action. I would say go ahead and play on the fun side. So let us give you an idea. Let us take the philosophical approach. Say you want to be a philosopher. Hmm? We spoke of this in Sylvester's class. Let's say you want to be a philosopher about life, about anything. Maybe you want to be an intuit teacher one day. Maybe you want to philosophize about human behavior and diagram a new map about belief systems coveted through different cultures. And then people can structure this vision in their mind then all you must do is embrace the vibration of what? Philosophy. See, when you are, and you do always, become the ideas hmm, of philosophy, of anger, then you are experiencing it as that. And the self of reflection, your conscious self of separation, says this is it. And however you represent that, angry, being outrageous, and really yelling, being uh, shaky, mad, hot, and you are now becoming the embracer, hmm? becoming anger, that vibration birthed. So you can move your choice, your conscience awareness to philosophy, just as an idea. And then all of a sudden, to become that vibration, what shall happen is you still start enacting that constitution that signature that has been birthed by the psyche of humanity that is present in your awareness. You just say, I am philosophy. And then it starts to become you, because you are the equum of all reality signature. And that equum, related and accepted to the frequency that you are, will show you its beautiful wares. It'll tell you everything philosophical about philosophy. 
And it does not need to be done through your greats of Aristotle, Socrates, and whoever you deem as that juncture between that definition and your current life history. It doesn't need to be that in and of itself, but it gives you a springboard, if you will. So what's happening is to become the becomer, all you must do is one thing, become it. Not an intention, not in predicated outcome, not in philosophical endings or outcome beginnings to understand it journey-wise. Don't look at that. Be it. You guys embrace vibration. You were never angry until you were taught anger. You were never mm, offended. You were never disrespected. You were never sorrow. You were never suffer until you were taught through reflections that is a possibility. It must have been represented somewhere in your life. And you saw it and covered it, labeled it, and tucked it neatly into your will of the now, your isness, and said this vibration is relating and vibrating and creating a portion of my reality. So you covet and you became that and then you experience it when the details that your conscious mind translates of all vibrations that are received by your filtering mind of preference, then you become that experience. So what we're saying here is that you can become a particular vibration. You can embrace philosophy and start to hear Aristotle in your mind and start to feel how things work, but not in details, not in finites and structure, context and contextual, let's say, congruency. Not that. In its raw form. In its bliss of just speaking. Of course the separated mind hurriedly, hurriedly wants to categorize and understand and think about it and put everything or it cannot go beyond itself because that information is too much and it doesn't fit on my relevance of understanding. So you throw it away. Or you chalk it up to, I don't understand or this is too much for me. You fight for your limitations. And that is well, uh, let's say, understood by the collective at this time. But what you do is you don't do any of those things and you just simply become it and allow it. And take a few days. And it does not necessarily need to be an idea of anything mm, as philosophy. It can be open to you. Anything that you want to embrace inside of you. Because you guys are so good at avoiding what you don't want. And that sustains it. You are very excellent masters at judging and fighting and defending your own limitations. Because why? Because you just simply don't recognize them. And upon recognition, you want to avoid them or change them out of lack because what you're embracing is something not preferred. But you are judging it in the idea of separation and of course that sustains it because your vibration is this is not what I want and every time you kick creation in the balls, creation kicks back. It stays. You must understand that. So we give you a different focus. See everyone is trying to fix what's not broken. Why can't you guys just go play? See energy follows awareness. If I'm always focusing on what the hell's wrong with my life and what I need to change, then I must be not enough. I must be vibrationally lowly to constitute whatever is these people's fault that I'm going to blame, my fault that I'm going to blame, can't fall in love with myself, can't find a perfect partner, always working, trying, and receiving. That idea is why it's happening, because that's what you validate yourself as. So to get unused to that, you must shift, not avoid, not change. Just don't fucking look at it. Over here, holy cow. Let's see what it's like to be a philosopher. Let's see what it's like to be a space traveler. Hmm? Let's see what it's like to be the true sense of a wanderer that was represented by the collective of Ra. Let's embrace that word in and of itself. And I am creation, so I shall vibrate into that. But see, your mind doesn't trust that without books or without research or without someone else's authority that you can, let's say, choose it. Now all those inputs that are coming because you just accepted the idea is a truth. You're not good enough to accept your own truth. When is that going to happen? 
when you get enough proof there will never be enough proof if you are seeking enough proof because that's the chasm that you choose to build upon yourself the way literally you choose to relate to reality is I'm not enough and I'll never get the proof so you can keep saying I'm not enough so I can never get the proof you're gonna cycle them. you can't focus on that you have to focus on something else fun exciting passionate different oddities curiosities but not in the ideas of right and wrong or fixing or rescuing or saviorship in the ideas of allowance to explore what's possible within my mind. This great gestalt, unknown, unremembered by the conscience me. Why can I, I not tap into that? Well, you can. You don't need a mantra. You don't need a kerba, what is it? Merkaba? Merkaba awakening. You don't need anything because you're not earning your way back to God. You've never left. You just covered it. It is your rodeo. Understand yourself that you can relate to different worlds, different frequencies, embrace that definitional vibration, and it becomes your circumferencing now, and it starts to energize your isness, and all the idea of, let's say, vibration translation start to tick in this quasi mind, and you start being offered by the whole self ideas. They don't make sense, they don't fit your world, they don't belong. Absolutely, that's what you want. You don't want to mess around with what you've already known. What fun is that? So the permission slip or the bridge builder here is to focus on what's not wrong with your world. What is this? What is that? You got fires, you got snow in San Antonio. Oh my God, that's not wrong, but it's a, an occurrence that attracts or distracts. So understand that. Don't be so busybody on what's wrong or what's different or what's going on. What about your world? The one that's in this tiny little box that you are. What's wrong with that world as a playground? Because that's where this entire playground, pardon me, is being birthed from. Here. Get to know this. So embrace the idea of philosophy. Embrace the idea of whatever. Any subject. Maybe you want to be a remote healer. See, remote healers or remote viewers, or any of those ideologies, any idea, psychic, medium, anything, hmm? a construction worker that's, let's say, working on high rises, you can be that vibration. Go there, be there, and embrace it as the vibration of your reality. Do not discount your capabilities, because the passions of the mind seek congruency and, let's say, standards and the standards of how to get that info inside of you. It is inside of you. It cannot exist outside of you. Because everything outside of you has been already created from within. Understand that. Back down to yourself. Vibrate a little bit slower to yourself. Not heighten your vibration or change it. Get to know it. And then shift it with something that's exciting instead of something that's fucked up. Stop. Unless you really love the pain. And that's why the pain is there. Because you really love it. I think your entity, channeled through Daryl, Anka, that Bashar, where you follow that energy, that is your truth. You think about that, that truth becomes your reality. You're always 100% trusting that I love my pain. That's why you get pain. I love my drama. That's why you get it, because you are God. Where you are placing your idea, you are always on. It's where you're placing the focus, the filters are. So if you're really good at being pain in the ass, you're really good at self-hatred, you're really good at sabotage, you're really good at, let's say, judging everyone else around you, you're really good at pushing away reality because you don't deserve life, as you are given it and offered and you push away the gifts that are being offered you're tired of that and just stop it is painful it is as if I have nothing else to do I don't know how to exist outside of my pain yes that will be apparent but you have other ideas to play with allow your mind to speak to you to become connected the quasi mind is the mind that you have you have a portion that turns upon itself as a separate. 
but you are truly one mind. We all are one. So you can understand that yourself as the unum or the conjecture of what? Outside, objectified, against yourself. That's the moments that you're connected and then some detail shakes you up and changes your point of view into this. That's the vibration that's recognized because you are evolving. And when you recognize that vibration, that's what we're talking about. Where are you going to place your trust? You're going to trust into that idea of vibration and judge it once again? Become it in the idea of arrogance and separation once again? Or are you going to simply say, bye bye and shift and be something else? So the idea of philosophy, and whatever definition you want to place, is just to get you to understand how vibration works. How you can literally change your vibration by changing your focus. And not for a day with no expectations, in the now with no expectation. Not for a set period of time with results. None of that. Just, I am this today. And let it show you. And you will start to understand that you will not get the quick satisfactions. Because the quick satisfactions are replaced very quickly by the seeking mind of happiness, avoidance, escapism, to seek and find once again quick moments of happiness that diminish in an instant. And then your whole life is chasing your tail and avoiding the scary. What you're going to find is uncomfortable. What you're going to find is, I'm not sure I like this because it's not giving me the same frictional vibration feedback that I'm accustomed to my entire life of pain. I don't need to do that anymore. So let me fee be, feel painful, irritated, let's say eradicated against this idea this way instead of that way. You're very good at that way. Let's try this way. Be uncomfortable getting to know yourself. Understanding vibration. Put stuff down. Do not seek admiration or justification for your actions because that's a decree of lack. What you want to do is just allow and spend time with you. People don't want to know themselves because they were told you're not worth it. You have to earn your worth, your moxie. You have to be justified in measurements for me to talk to you. All that bullshit you guys have covered yourself up with. You're a God chosen that stands enough on its own for existence is you, and that is all that is. So of course you must know your idea of truth, that I am worthy, I am, ta-da. That's who you need to get to know. Get off the name blame, this and that, and just regurgitating old shit that no longer services you. Because you're afraid. You're afraid to leave the self that you've always valued that gave you some kind of resistance not in the resistance of negativity, we're talking your own cycle. Every time an idea circles around and it hits the idea of the ohm, it becomes a resistance which gives you what? Vibration feedback that gives you, I am here. I am alive. I am not in a cave. I am not empty. I am feeling life. I am relating to reality through frequency. So perfect. That's what you're going to know. So you want to sink into it and the doorway is philosophy or whatever else you say anything you would like to become, just to feel what it is, a mathematician. You're terrible at math, yet you have access to all mathematics. You're terrible at it, you say to yourself. I don't understand these formulas. Well, they're your formulas. You wrote them in that book that's in front of you. But you're using this idea of mind through that idea of diarrhea knower that's trying to shove it down your throat in an idea of unnatural timing. You become your own leader today. Go ahead and play in a vibrational field of allowance. And let the mind wander. And let the beckoning mind of separation judge. And just be the consistent allowance to see what happens. And it will be a struggle. Because it will be uncomfortable becoming the vibration of the natural once again. Because you're so used to being in pain. You don't even recognize it. But as you release yourself from the obligations the tyranny of your own, let's say, demise, your own unworthiness, then the struggle will become the release. And the release is most exceptional when it's understood as release because it is painful. You are recognizing, once again, the pain you have been holding yourself in as that idea imagery. Ready to change today, I say you are. Journey well, entities. We bid you all a good day.
Beautiful. All right, guys. Hey, thank you so much. Um, it is Wednesday. Next Wednesday, I'm going to, I uh, will post up. We're taking some of the slide classes and we're breaking them down into little bit parts. So it's not like an hour and a half or two hours of, of just all the speakings. It's going to be some uh, little golden nugget stuff. So we're going to part, start putting some of that material out there as well. Um, I love you. I do. You guys rock your weekend. I'll see you next week. Bye.